26th of May 1986, I had stepped out of this house, maybe for the last time. Second of May 2013, I am back here at a place called Three Double Street, Vrda Chalam. The double street at the first place looks hard because of the width that it used to have earlier and what it has now become. Constructions, two floor buildings and all the water wood are not there anymore. Okay. Three Double Street has a different look now. There is no Tindai. There used to be a Tindai here. Tata with his easy chair sitting in the evening and sometimes in the morning. And we people always sitting here and having fun, enjoying the evening breeze. Not to forget the Son Papri Wala waiting for Nung, the Katadi and all that. And so many memories here. And also the Madu which would come and scratch itself to the edge of the Tindai. From the Tindai, we many times used to always stare at the Shakadai and go to Dandapani Mama's house from the Shattam which was there. That Shattam is also not there now. Have a look at the famed Shakadai. during the hot summer to take a shade out here. Okay? And here we enter the main door. Look at the main door. It still remains the same. Okay? And now I am entering the main door. To my right is the, is the place to go to the Mahdi, which we will come to later. Okay? And to my left is where we would run to for some papers, or some kind of pencil and pen to take from the Gumastas. Okay, this is the Gumasta room. Most important to remember are people like Gundurao, Chakravarti, and all that who are the Gumastas out here. Okay, and this particular room they would be there. It was like our Tata's office. Okay, our Tata was a lawyer and it was his office. Mm -hmm. Now I am opening another very, very illustrious play, illustrious thing called the Kambi Kadal. Okay, this is the Kambi Kadal. You enter. And as you have entered, you would see an imposing room ahead, which would be like a normal table, okay, with Tata's chair out here, okay. And that table still exists, okay, and we are told that this table is kept out here. Now this is where our Tata used to sit on the table and work. Okay. And there was the famed Benji out here. Okay. The Benji was such that we would all be sitting here. Many times when Tata was not working, it was like our office. So all of us kids would come together and make this our hijack this place to make it our office. Okay. Uh, from here, there used to be a curtain out here, and this was a place to hide. Okay. Uh, now this is an area which was full of law books, the law bureau. Okay. Coming little ahead, there used to be a cycle out here, which was always kept, and we would love pedaling that cycle in the rivers. Okay. The corner of this place is more interesting. Come to the corner. This place used to be called Mittam. 
Okay. Uh, in later days, Tata had created a mitham where people could, uh, for him to go for urine in the night or something so that he would not have to travel all the way there. Okay. But we as children also sometimes used to not even really use this place during daytime also. Now, from here, you are going to witness the passage to the Kollai. The neat passage to the Kollai. Okay. But now let me take you to the other side to my right, which is again a very famed area. There used to be a bureau here with all the slippers out here. Okay, that area has now changed. Here is where we would have an unjal. Okay. This was the place where many children who were born in this house have grown up in this unjal and we have also played in this unjal, okay, having concept like a fast train and all that in this particular unjal, okay. So this was the famed tool, the tool, tool, the pillar, okay. Many times we have kicked this to to see that whether Narsimha comes out of this. He never came out. We only got our legs injured. <laughs> now where I am standing used to be a place where there was a Nelluput. Okay. Now look, there is no Nelluputi out here because the opposite side also there was a Nelluputi. And this area was fantastic for us to hide during hide and seek and all those kind of games that we played in this particular house. Okay. Now, this area behind this almari is where uh, we had the Lakshmi almari. Okay. Now, we are entering the Arangul. This is the Arangul Modai, which now is like Karmal Modai, okay, at the new house. Oh, all the top is completely empty. It used to be full with so much of luggage and everything. And now I am entering the famed Arangul, okay, <laughs> which still has so many luggages, etc. inside this particular room. It is almost similar to the Arangul of our times. One thing at that time was early morning catching a rat in the trap and throwing it away. Okay, the Eli Puri that Papa Pati used to keep and one Eli or Perichali that used to get trapped here. Okay, and then we had to do this great task of throwing the uh, Eli out. Okay, so this is the Arambul for you. You can take that side Top of the Arambul. This is the top. Oh. We can continue. Huh. Now we are entering the kitchen. This place used to be the Pergaya Poti or the Paisa Dabba. That party used to keep and for everything that she would give away for Kariha and all those things, the Pergaya Poti was here and soap and other things were out here. Okay. The fridge is still at the same place where it used to be earlier, perhaps a little away here and there, but the fridge is here. This is the place where Tata used to sit and put his namam after having a bath before he went to pray. Okay, so this is our kitchen. From where the camera is standing, here there used to be a board. Okay, there used to be a board here and behind this board was, that is front of the me was the place where there was gas or a stop. Okay, now let me take you to the Veracad of this, which now is a gas. This is the place which was the Veracad of Okay, where all the is got made, firewood room will go later, okay, and <laughs> you can still have a look at the chimney, the traditional style chimney, which is out here. The Prahopukki it was called, okay. Uh, here also was another place where there was a board, okay, which was blocking the view to the kitchen because behind this was the makeshift kitchen on the room. Now let me take you 
there used to be another adupu out here okay that adupu is not there this corner was where the ammi the kalloral okay was all there and this is the corner where all the utensils were washed and there was a hole out here which would let water go out and fall down which you would very interestingly watch okay now this corner was the well okay now there is no well we learn that this has been uh, the well has been covered because there is no water in the well okay so this well which used to be here half portion closed mostly never opened from inside used to be here you can still see the pulley for the well out here okay and then the famed place where all the bhakshanam and other items used to be kept okay uh, the bhagshas the bottles and all that which was kept out here this is where where i am standing is where the gods were okay all the gods with the saligramam in this corner and so many gods in this corner and that silver snake uh, which was also there the adi session that was worshiped in this house okay was out here that perman mode no longer exists next to the perman mode i used to make a small uh, layer of clay ganapati okay which party used to very religiously worship okay now we are going to the second kitchen where coffee tea etc used to be made we as children would always look towards the light at this kitchen because early morning when we wanted we would be wanting to get up and come here we would never get sleep so 5:30 am or 5 am vijaya mummy or mallika mummy used to get up and be in this room so we would come running with them so that we could go brush our teeth and all that okay now we are going into the kitchen the makeshift kitchen which used to be there okay now this is where in the makeshift kitchen this is where in the makeshift kitchen was where the stove was there and all that okay and we had all other items which were kept here sometimes elavadam was kept here sometimes nungu was kept here sometimes barfi was kept here and all those kind of things were kept here we would come inside and quietly rob it and run away okay without anybody noticing us is the place that used to be called rendangatte this entire passage was used by people the staircase and the door is indicative of the rendangatte the steepness of the staircase is very important to notice okay and the kollai is when used to come to wash our hands go to have a bath or answer nature's call during the day, during the nights okay this corner is where there was the kai alambar totti okay with one or two small little jortalis out there okay after that is where i come to the most important place the kolla kadavu okay the kolla kadavu was so important for us to find it locked gave a shock sometimes in the night when you got up to go to kollai you had to call somebody for tonai okay and that particular person had to first unlock this okay then open this then open this and open a lock okay after that this person would open this up then we came in the corner of our time is there what is missing Arginal now Arginal is the shattam okay which was earlier there the shattam used to open here at the center okay and once we came in here is the tochar kallu here is the tochar kallu where all our clothes got washed okay and here is the place 
which I told you where water would fall from. Okay. Now, important thing to notice in the collai is also I am standing over the kanari. Okay. Again, this has been closed in recent times. Here again, you can see the place for the pulley. Okay. Here is the place for the pulley where we have drawn water, so much of water and had a bath beneath the well. Okay. Now we come to the important part which is the bathroom. This is the bathroom. The door is almost still the same. Okay, whatever it existed during 80s, 90s. 90s is when we left this house. This is the bathroom. This is the toti in which we as youngsters have sometimes even jumped into this toti and had a bath. Okay, and this is the place where there used to be the jortan, the uh, boiler for making the hot water. Okay, so this is the bathroom which was there in those days. Of course, coming here, having a bath, uh, you had to keep your soap. There was a place to hang your clothes or something, but yes, at any point in time, there were about 30 people in this house. Okay, 30 people have had their bath here and finished everything within three hours in the morning. And we also used to have a bath in the evening because most of us came here during summer times. This is the other place called the Vimy Wood. This bathroom was built later, okay, but yet this was a very interesting place where two people, as in two bathrooms could simultaneously be used. There used to be one anda here or rather a big container to have water Okay, to take you to the WCs or the toilets, the two toilets in number. Okay, and who can forget the door that takes you to Sunita Amma's house? What did it not find here this time were the monkeys. Okay, the monkeys are not out here and coming to this particular place where there used to be some tree and uh, certain uh, flowers that came in this tree, I think the tree continues to be the same, yet we would also have great pleasure in watering the tree out here. Let me take you to the Verahul. Of course, there is no roof here. I think this place is also going to be remodeled. But there used to be all the firewood kept out here and some not required uh, saman, which was all kept out in this room. Okay. And when women were out of doors, they would always be sta uh, stationed out here. So that kind of completes our tour of the ground floor. We have taken you to the kitchen. Uh, I have to take you to another very important room, the Padutankara Ul where Atitata used to sleep. So we now go straight to the Padthikara Ul and then we will go to the Madi. You can pause. Pause me, please. Pause me, table fan where all of her children used to come running early in the morning to come and lie down with him. Many times people after delivering babies 
perhaps took over this room for themselves for some time. There used to be one big ivory almari out here of deep wood where there were photos kept and those photos were memories for us. One of the days during the vacation to sit and see those photos. The top, there was a wheel covered and some books up there which is not there. Of course, the wooden door is changed where normally we would see a cinema out here of people running up and down on their place. Now, I'll quickly take you to the Madi. Okay, this is the Madi and we climb up the Madi. Look at those steps. Rangamama's room is as it was called. We played doctor, doctor out here. Okay. Uh, and there was the other room which we never knew what was, was used for. or whatever it was called, where many of us, or the guest room where people have been sleeping out here and played cards and enjoyed with snacks that we used to get from the inside most room with Papa Pati. The entry to terrace, this door has also been changed. we used to cover the glass in the afternoon so that the glare did not enter and this is the view of the terrace as I lead you now to the Motta Mahdi. Okay, yes yeah, this is the Kandamunda room. where always all the, the junk of the home used to be dumped out here. The wooden things, the broken chairs, the furniture and all were inside this room. Now we just walk into the Mottamadi. Uh, in the meantime, you can just see the view from here into the home. Climbing to the Mottamadi, these narrow staircases, which now we are taking time to climb. As children, we would have perhaps done it in less than two minutes to climb this area. Now, this is like the wall of China. Okay, the Madi obviously used to be beyond this wall where it was at a little lower level beyond this bench. Many of us, when we have come to sleep in the terrace during the summer vacation, one of us used to come and water this entire place so that it would cool down and in the night people would come and sleep in the Motamadi. Okay. This place is something that we have all cherished because we have somewhere taken pleasure in sleeping like this and staring at the sky okay, and feeling so good about it. It is hot now, but it used to be cool after about 6 p.m. <coughs> you can still see the Covil that side. Okay, behind me you can see the Covil. Yeah. And this place has memories for so many people, for so many things. You can take a quick aerial view of the terrace. So that the mosque which was existing in very small is now very clearly visible.
and take an aerial view of two double street right from the terrace and that is how life changes a full 36 years later here i am at three double street and looking at the changes out here it really perplexes me of how urbanization has come to a village or a town called vridachalam and the only two story building out in this entire road now faces competition with so many other buildings because i can see taller structures no more ot vid as they were called out here okay and that to my friends is the story of a comeback thank you